Anda masih bersama Economic Update. Pemirsa, suku bunga acuan Bank Sentral Amerika pada 5,25 persen hingga 5,50 persen adalah suku bunga tertinggi dalam kurun waktu 22 tahun terakhir dan ditetapkan untuk meredam laju inflasi yang sempat menembus 9 persen secara tahunan. Namun sesuai ekspektasi banyak pihak, Bank Sentral Amerika atau Federal Reserve dalam pertemuannya pada bulan Desember tidak mengubah suku bunga acuan. Usai pertemuan terakhirnya untuk 2023, Bank Sentral AS atau Federal Reserve kembali mempertahankan suku bunga acuan yang telah dinaikkan 11 kali sejak awal 2022 untuk meredam laju inflasi. We are prepared to tighten policy further if appropriate. We're committed to achieving a stance of monetary policy that is sufficiently restrictive to bring inflation sustainably down to 2% over time and to keeping policy restrictive until we're confident that inflation is on a path to that objective. Terakhir kali The Fed menaikkan suku bunga adalah pada Juli dan sinyalmen dari The Fed menunjukkan siap mempertahankan suku bunga tinggi untuk waktu lebih lama alias higher for longer. Keputusan terakhir The Fed tak banyak mengejutkan analis mengingat dampak tingginya suku bunga yang menekan belanja konsumen. Well, 70% of our economic growth comes from the US consumer. A US consumer with over a trillion dollars in credit card debt outstanding right now. A US consumer that's facing credit card interest rates over 24%, the highest on record. A US consumer that now has auto loan delinquencies at their highest rates in three decades. Early delinquencies on their credit card balances at their highest rates in the last decade. If they push the interest rates even higher, that's only going to increase the pace of those delinquencies and potentially slow down the economy even further. If the consumer switches to debt servicing as opposed to spending, the economy will only slower and likely lead into a recessionary period. Data terkini seputar inflasi, indeks harga konsumen menguat secara bulanan, tapi melemah secara tahunan ke angka 3,1 persen, jauh dari target The Fed sebesar 2 persen. In the macro picture, inflation is cooling down, for, but if you get down into the the detail of it, for the average consumer, the grocery prices are still high, and you know the fact that the trend of inflation is declining doesn't necessarily mean that inflation is declining because it, it's still going up. It's just not going up as fast. So from the end consumer standpoint, the person that goes to the grocery store or to a restaurant or buy stuff, um, for them, they're still seeing prices go up. So we in the financial world, we're saying, oh, look, inflation's coming down. It's actually still going up, just not as fast. Kali ini harga hunian termasuk yang ikut mengangkat laju inflasi di saat harga bensin telah mereda. Pelaku usaha dan pelaku pasar umumnya melihat keputusan terakhir dari The Fed sebagai sinyalemen bahwa siklus kenaikan suku bunga telah berakhir untuk saat ini. Dan The Fed bahkan telah mengisyaratkan siap untuk menurunkan suku bunga acuan pada 2024, yaitu sebanyak sedikitnya tiga kali. Dari Washington DC, saya Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.